proceedings again demonstrate that after yesterday's proceedings a geopo myself and my team of lawyers representing Mazi Namikan we went to work we worked throughout the night up to about 4 a.m. this morning and we were able to generate a 42 page document attacking the entire 50 counts in the church has been wordless, has been watery, has been of no moment, and has actually dying or rather dead on arrival, as dead as Dodo. We were able to generate about 34 grounds for the application. We believe that by the grace of God, by the time the judge calmly, dispassionately examined the step-by-step -step destruction of these camps, then, like I submitted in court, she will go to the next stage, which is to grant us our prayer to and our prayer too is that there be no valid legal counts in the church to defend. She should dismiss all of them and set free that is discharge and acquit Mazi in the canon of any offenses. What the prosecution tried to do was to insist that because today was set down for hearing, that the trial must go on, notwithstanding the pendency of this, this application, which we have tried, and not also withstanding the pendency of a second application, a 26 page motion for bail. And I pointed out to the court that that was not the law. That is not the law that the Supreme Court has held in several cases, serially, that most motions are pending before a court of law. Even if the motion is frivolous or stupid, the Supreme Court actually used the word stupid or frivolous or meritorious, that the court is duty bound to look at that application, take argument, Sorry. and then decide it one way or the other before the matter can proceed. And of course, our application is fundamental, it's intrinsic to this trial. And the judge agree with us, telling the prosecution, there's no way you can tell, tell me to start trial. What if we start trial? 
and then the appellate court finally questions whatever we do here. So she she was right. That is a legal position. And because of that, she has determined that she will take first this application to quash the entire counts in the 15 count. And then if there's still any case to try at all, that is where we will now get to the well cross the bridge and target in there. So what the 16th of February has been set down for at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 16th February, February 16, 2022. It's just for this application alone to quash the counts in the 15 count charge and discharge an acquit Namdi Kano. Because in law, you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to, and expect it to stay, it to collapse. I cannot imagine a house that has no foundation if it collapses. So by the time the court hears us and takes a look at this application, she will discover that there's actually no case before her to, to waste the precious time of this honorable court. Because the court is a busy court. There are many cases on the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that she can face other more important cases. Mm -hmm. This case is dead on arrival. As dead as Dodo. Dodo was a bird that existed in the southern part of Africa. Like the dinosaur, it is now extinct. It can never come back. So when something is as dead as Dodo, like this case, it means that the case is dead on arrival and is buried and cannot, like an apparition, rise up from the grave. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh,